Hi everybody! Oh, poor cousin It! Oh my goodness! Oh, shame. No sunglasses today. No sunglasses today. No need. This is happening. It's been 48 hours of permanent rain. And I decided to come out. I'm under an umbrella. But I wanted to show you what cousin It has to endure. <laughs> And yet he is still blooming, so I know this isn't the beautiful sunny day that my videos normally have, so welcome to Spain on a rainy one. But I can't bring him inside because he is so big. Yeah, he's getting rained out. <laughs> and just check this. I have been using these pots and stuff to collect extra rain and all my barrels and buckets are full. Amazing! No complaints there, but thank you so much for being here. Cousin It says hi and says thank you so much as well. The only thing is, I think he may sulk very soon with regards to the blooms and say enough already, uh, summer fading. But we're hoping that the weather will change in the next couple of days so that we go and all have a little bit of a break. <laughs> All right, let's go inside where it's a little bit warmer and see what else is going on. Ooh, that's better. <laughs> inside with some pretty, pretty bright colors. At least there are areas in the corners of this bad weather that actually have superb colors that are much, much to my liking as opposed to the gray, dull darkness outside. Yes, anyway, go passing. This is Epicat Lea Rene Marquez crossed with Brassabola Digbiana. Finally, all three blooms have opened. You joined me on a day in the life of ninja orchids. And I appreciate that you did that because it was nice to have your company on that day. Thank you very, very much, Gopa. I haven't seen you for a while, but hey, we are all very, very busy, but I hope you're not too busy that you missed this video. If not, I will find you. I'll just point you in the direction so that you know that I'm saying thank you so very much for your support of my channel and my Apicat Leo Rene Marquez crossed with Brassavola Digbiana blooms for you. I've had this orchid now almost three years. We've had some hiccups along the way, but she is finally, finally growing nice and strong in my Lekka classic setup. Loving, loving, loving its existence. And I'm absolutely loving the fact that she is here and doing so well now. This is a color combination that I have to say I would wear on an outfit. And I'm working on a few things regarding this color combination, but more of that when the time is right. But yeah, this is somewhat inherited from the Brassavola Digbiana little bit of frill around the lip, but I'm very glad that she has still maintained all the attributes of her Epicat Lea Rene Marquez. I do love the comparison of the pink with the yellow and the chartreuse green. The petals aren't as thin and spread out. It's all a little bit more compact and stout, but gorgeous, gorgeous nonetheless. And the way she's presenting herself this year, I couldn't be happier beautifully spaced out, every angle is addressed. And this happened while she was indoors. She already spiked while she was outside, but then I brought her in in December, and uh, thank goodness her spike didn't stop. It continued to grow, and here we are, with stunning, stunning blooms. Not fragrant. This cross did not inherit the fragrance of the Brassavola Digbiana, unfortunately. Nonetheless, I don't care. I think she is absolutely divine. So cute. So Gopa Singh, thank you very much for your support on my channel. I so appreciate it. I hope everything is going well in your part of the world. And because I haven't seen you since the new year, I want to wish you a very, very happy new year. Next up, I have one of my Tulumia spikes to give away. So many are spiking right now, but they're taking forever 
The recent cold snap seems to have made everything grind to a halt, slow things down. But Chica Sena, I can't say where I first saw you, so forgive me for that. Maybe you showed up just as a new subscriber in my notifications. I don't know which video that would pertain to. But Chica, thank you very, very much. This is Tolumnia Pink Beige. She's the first one to open of the spikes that are underway. So Shika Sena, I want to say thank you to you very, very much for your support on my channel. Things are a little bit haphazard in here, but based on the weather circumstances outside, I really, really needed to get on with filming because I've been moving my Tolumnias in and out depending on the weather conditions, which has not been too kind to the longevity of their blooms and they are falling off quite quickly. I've already lost surprisingly two blooms on this spike and that is because I keep moving it in and out. I thought that the temperatures being a bit cooler they would be a little bit more forgiving but that is not the case and for that reason I'm not waiting until tomorrow in case I get some sun so we can go out and film her in the sun. I'm doing this now so that I can dedicate her to you while she still has lots and lots of blooms to see and enjoy. Just to show you, let me see if I can show you. These are the two older blooms, how they fade onto the petals. They get this sort of vintage pink to them, which is so cute. When they open, they have a little bit more of a white frame. And then they start to darken as they age. I love them. I think I have several of these. They're all mislabeled. But anyway, it doesn't matter to me anymore with regards to my Tolumnias. <laughs> I just love how they fade into each other. And I love this vintage kind of ink up here. Very cute. Chica Sena, thank you so very, very much for your support. And I haven't seen you this year either. And for that reason, I'm going to say Happy New Year to you too. Rinkatliante, Fushu Glory, Happy Holiday. Have finally got the blooms to do what they do best, and that is flare in yellow. Trees epiphytes, these are for you. I remember that you showed up the first time on my DIY inorganic mounts, the ninja mounts, the micro mounts, and I want to say thank you so much for the in interaction that we've had in the recent months. I really appreciate it. I enjoy your channel very, very much. And everybody else who doesn't know Trees Epiphytes, I'm gonna have the link in the description below. With anyone I mention, there's always going to be a link in the description below if they do have their own channel. So in some of these videos, it's a good thing to go and see, check out the description and see if there's any channels that you might be interested in subscribing to. Trees Epiphytes. Anyway, let me show you, give you, present you, with the two blooms from my happy holiday. Her timing of blooming is absolutely perfect because we have just had holidays and that is when she opened her second spike of the year. I mean, isn't that just amazing? The only thing I can say that I haven't been able to enjoy that gorgeous, gorgeous, pungent citrusy fragrance for the last two or three days because of the weather conditions. But my goodness, even without the sun to warm up the room in order to enjoy her fragrance, knockout, I would say. That is knockout. Thank you very, very much for being on my channel, Freeze Epiphytes. So very, very much appreciated. And happy holiday here. When I see her, I know, and now you know, she blooms for you.
someone who only needs introduction because of the name. There are so many out there. This is my Twinkle Red Fantasy. And what, what a little spectacle it is this year. It would be the first time that it blooms for me because I only had it a year and when I bought it, I had it in bloom, sort of fading blooms. I did enjoy the fragrance for a little bit. But this is my first blooming and I have 16 spikes. And let me tell you something, this little insidium does not need the sunshine to smell divine, if I can't find a better word. Love me the smell of this twinkle. I have another one in bud. I don't know if that's going to smell the same, but bring it on, especially on dull days if the other orchids don't actually exude their perfume because it's a dull day, then well, guess what? Twinkle saves the day. Gorgeous molasses kind of fragrance. I can't detect vanilla. I can't detect anything unless you open like a jar of molasses and that first waft of heavy, heady sweetness comes at you. I look forward to when I do have some sunshine falling on this orchid because I would like to be knocked out of the room. I do not mind heavy fragrances that are delicious. So this one, let the sun shine and then oh, I shall be in little twinkle heaven. Having said that, never mind about what I shall be. I want to actually dedicate 16 spikes, but to eight people to eight of you wonderful people, and that would mean two spikes per person. First of all, it's Rubia family, midday 2020. Then I have Jenny Serrano Pierkowski, Ulubi Sa Buhangin, Sheila Kaltz, Carolyn Mueller, Giselle Porto, I've got Tab Out. You came up in a day in the life of ninja orchids and happy healing also on a day in the life of ninja orchids happy healing yeah that sounds something i could aspire to <laughs> again if you have a channel then all your channels will be in the description below so to the eight of you each and every one of you individually, I want to say thank you so very, very much. And know that not only are your comments very, very welcome, but if you aren't around to comment, you're too busy to watch the video. I have the Twinkle Red Fantasy blooming and in fragrance, reminding me of you. And for that, I'm very, very grateful just as much as I'm very grateful that you've been here to support my channel. Very, very early days. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get to your names. I hope to be able to cover ground with regards to listing a few more names when I have an abundance of a show like this on an orchid. My goodness, she is amazing. So Rubia Family Midday 2020, Jenny Serrano Pirkowski, Uluvisa Buhangin, Sheila Kaltz, Caroline Mueller, Giselle Porto, Tab Out, and Happy Healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the same goes to all of you. A very, very happy new year. Still raining, still raining. Look at the tubs down here. The masks for the fires and the cymbidium. Yeah, I take them out of their mask when it's raining so that they don't accumulate and get waterlogged, obviously. And the rain just pours through nicely and they have filled up. And it's not heavy, heavy rain, but it's this continuous, continuous drizzle rain. Steady, steady. And if it were a bit warmer, all my vandacious orchids would be outside but not under these circumstances. And yes, I'm facing the wrong way with the mic. Sorry. Okay, well, we'll make this short and sweet. I appreciate you joining me to see what's in bloom and the dedications and the thank yous. 
And to everybody that was not mentioned today, thank you so very, very much for being here on my channel. So appreciated. Love your comments. Love the exchange. So thank you for keeping them coming. Have a wonderful day and please stay safe. Take care. Bye.